Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and um, you know me for a lot of integration with uh, UiPath. So we have the different connectors for Salesforce, ServiceNow, Jira, Confluence and so on. I did a lot of videos also how to start processes from Salesforce, from ServiceNow, how to start UiPath processes from Jira, from Node.js and so on. Yeah. And you have the main uh, the main system with uh, Postman, yeah. So you have a video with Postman how to send all the um, uh, commands to start the process. Today we will do the same stuff from Google App Script, yeah. So you are able to write scripts inside of uh, Google system, and you are able to do a lot of stuff with this script. So to be able to start with Google App Scripts. Uh, go here and you have a Google script and you have an overview and you have a very simple process here in a video in four minutes you see how exactly how you start the process to send an email write a document and so on yeah so it's very nice so basically I, I do the same uh, the, the same steps like here with starting a script I go to my I have a Google account uh, on my personal account on Gmail and then uh, I create uh, I create a project and I have a script. Yeah, so I create here a script, and here on the script I put all the stuff that I did with the um, uh, uh, with the postman. Yeah, so you remember you have this uh, video with the postman where where I show everything how to uh, to start the process. Yeah, we will use like um, on this one with the postman we will use uh, the uh, uh, the cloud API. So we'll you'll use the cloud uh, UiPath cloud. And we'll start the process. We have to process. We have MSGS and MSG param. Yeah. Um, simple process and um, process the parameters. As usual, I will publish the code on the um, uh, GitHub. Yeah. So as you have the code for everything, Salesforce, service now, NetSuite, Power Automate, and so on, you will have the code now also for for Google Apps. So what I did, I, did, I created the script. I created, I copy paste the default script. Look, I have the same name. And then I do my REST API command, yeah? So basically I have the data for the grant, then I have the options and here uh, uh, you have to give him also the headers here inside. Then I make a call to get the token. Then I say that I want to start a process and then I send, uh, uh, I send the command, yeah? And on the, on the second one to start the process and on the second um, uh, way I will send uh, uh, the command with the parameters. So let's, let's run it. Let's run the script from here. Yeah, and you see the script is running and you, he you see here my process is started and I have the, um, when I will have the log. So, you know, it's, uh, it takes a little time to, to have the logs and you'll see that uh, I have the logs start, robot start from the orchestrator. And now if I want to start the process with parameters, I will comment this one. And I will, um, I will put uh, this one, um, I'll leave the code and here we'll have test YouTube and you'll see that the video will be from 2121, yeah? 2121, test YouTube, Google, Google, yeah? So let's run it now, save and uh, run the code. Like I still put the code on the internet. Let's go to the orchestrator and let's see the automation. And here you see the process um, SMG, um, uh, message with parameters on this one and then view logs. And you see the logs with two parameters. So test YouTube, Google and video, it's uh, 921. Yeah, good. Now let's understand how we trigger this stuff. Yeah, so in the future, I'll make a use case with, uh, with this one. So you can comment to this movie to understand, um, uh, uh, to understand um, what use cases you would want to see with Google, with uh, Gmail or, uh, or Google Docs or uh, other stuff, uh, Google Sheets and so on. But let's understand, here you go and you see a trigger, yeah? And you will define a trigger. So I will add a trigger here. And for me, I will add a simple trigger. I will, I will put this uh, trigger to work every minute, yeah? So I will say, uh, select my procedure, my function. Then uh, I will select, it is time-driven, not from the calendar. I will say that it's from the minutes. 
and I will select that it's every minute, yeah? So this is just for, for test, yeah? So I save the trigger. The trigger is uh, 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 there and uh, this will work. And we will see in one minute that my process will be um, will be fired, yeah? So we'll so go here on the jobs. And um, you see that uh, I should have another process with param, yeah, in uh, one minute from the start of the trigger. But like I said, this one can have integration with, uh, um, so here, you can have integration with uh, Google Maps, uh, with uh, uh, Google Forms slides and so on. So everything that uh, Google provide uh, can be integrated with this. And in this way, you can create, uh, integrate with uh, UiPath Orchestrator to send commands to the robots and the robots can maybe also respond to your email or something like this. So comment on the, uh, um, um, comment on this video and uh, tell me what else you want to see on the, uh, uh, on the integration with Google, yeah? So if we look here, we see we have another process that was created a few seconds ago, yeah? So if we go here on the view logs, you see that I have my test with uh, Live21. Okay, so the trigger was function and uh, I was, um, my script was triggered by the Google and the command was sent to the, to the orchestrator, okay? So like I said, I will put this, uh, this, um, code on the GitHub and um, you'll be download the code from the GitHub and uh, try it yourself. And then uh, comment to this video and uh, tell me, uh, so when I put the video on the YouTube, comment on the YouTube on the video and tell me what else you want to see on the um, uh, Google Apps. Yeah, what uh, implementation you want to see. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Bye bye.